PTK is guaranteed a spot in Grand Finals, so we're not going to see him for a little bit. Uh, for a little bit, we need to finish the rest of the losers bracket right now. So this is this is not even a losers semi, is it? So this okay, but it's still best of five. All right, so we got losers quarters going on right now. Best friends Zach and TP Fox. These two uh, have played each other a lot, so I'm assuming that they're both very aware of each other's playstyles and both very aware of each other's little habits. TP Fox also apparently just beat Juice, as he just mentioned earlier on. on uh, what the fuck? Go ahead. So we got Billy Boy here, knocked me out uh, to the tournament. Do you want a commentary? Just, uh, just taking my controller out of my pocket. I forget it. Yeah, no, no. These guys are all good, man. Yeah. When I looked at this, uh, when I looked at the bracket here, I realized that this is gonna be a really stacked tournament. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I made it as far as I did. I guess I played Trickle Man, and he was he was insane. I like I did not know what to do at all, and I thought I was good at the Fox. Yeah. He's part of the the infamous SD Fox squad. Yeah. And I think each of our each of our local boxes tend to have some uh, little tidbits that make them more interesting to watch. In this case, TV Fox, I would say is more of the old school type of fox. Like he tries to go for a lot of the old school stuff. Zephyr is the type of fox that likes to fish for the up smashes, for instance. Yeah, I played against TP Fox round one, and I thought I thought he was really interesting. I thought I thought he was a little slower than some of the other foxes, like. Um, playing against some of the foxes in the squad, but he definitely makes up for it with certain little things. Yeah. Um, certain predictions and. Um, he, he's uh, an old school player, so, so, he, so he, relies, he relies a lot on those old form members. Right. I lost. I lost a set in game three, and I feel like at the end he kind of uh, figured me out more than I figured him out. So obviously I can't like pin down his style exactly, but he's still. I don't know. Oh, I, it, it makes sense to me why Zach is number two and TV Fox is number thirteen. But right now, Zach is being beat. But right now, yeah, that's the interesting part. This uh, tournament's been full of upsets. Huh? It's just the upsets, yeah. Uh, I heard, I heard Peter in this region is not supposed to three zero on BBW. That's that was something. But apparently, he did a lot of training. Like he he went through the hyperbolic time chamber. I guess so, man. <laughs> he went DBZ on this shit, got in the hyperbolic time chamber. Spend about a day in there. Oh, Ashcon is moving to San Diego, yes. Um, as a funny aside, Ashcon became obsessed with me after I force talked him at Mayhem. <laughs> calm, calm down. Oh, by the way, I, I see that. This is a pretty cool chat setup. What's up, Andy Mexico? How you doing? Okay, so right now. Zach is behind right now, but he's trying to make a statement. He's trying to do PTK shield pressure, but right now gets caught by a shield grab. Oh, that's a yeah, scary yeah. prospect. Fox is uh, sharking on the bottom. He's got Falco up in the air. Generally, uh, generally, definitely has a better position. It is in position to take this game if he had a flip that down to it. Uh oh. Zach off stage again. Falco off stage. Never oh, a good yeah, thing. That's it because Falco's recovery sucks. So Zach, Zach is, down uh, one game right now. Zach is stretching, looking a little nervous, but he's he's laughing. Actually, Zach is Zach is on the left. TV yeah, Fox yeah. on the right. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Okay. <laughs> the little bit are both laughing, so I wasn't sure which one you were referring to. Oh, yeah, no. So okay. TV Fox looks a little more stone faced. I think he wants to take this. Man. Zach going to oh, FD. Oh, shined off. Let's go. Yeah, the last the last time these two played was at our Chola Vista we, uh, local. At the last Friday, and Friday? yeah, and they had a grand final set that was uh, interesting to say the least. Was this grand finals? No, uh, this 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 matchup between these two, yes. Oh wow! At least set two was. Uh, set one was um, low tears. Oh really? And who ended up winning that? I believe it was TV Fox that was uh, coming from losers, so yeah. they decided to go play low tears, but TV Fox won, and so they ended up. TP Fox won and Zach was like, nah, uh, I want this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna play serious. So we're, we're, I guess no, no, low yeah. no low tiers this time. So we're gonna play serious from here on out with these, with these guys. Man, flat, uh, at the beginning of the set, uh, TP Fox was looking really strong to ride the momentum from game one, but you know, now we're seeing it. Okay. Which is interesting okay. too, because I've, I've been noticing that Fox has been taking uh, Falco as the final destination, but in this case it's the inverse. Oh, Great shine spike. Yeah. Great shine spike. Yo, he just got way up in this game. 
that was that was stylish and it was low percent. So it had a lot that of that was really important. That stock had a lot of stock to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so despite despite being behind, TP Fox just pulled ahead with that shine spike. What? Oh, One. This combo, this guarantees. Oh, he flubbed it. He went for a grab and he was, the shine. Yeah, yeah, he was inside of the shine. I guess, you know, just misjudged the distance. That's the worst when you get caught in that. That's just a demoralizing episode. He does a double laser from the ledge. Zach gets stage control again. Damn. Both of these guys got some moves. Man. And that's the thing about this. Ooh, that's the thing about this matchup, too. It just. just it depends on how the fox handles the Falco lasers. Right, right. Uh, there's a... The foxes get really hung up on the lasers. They feel like it controls the matchup too much. But there, there are ways to learn how to not let yourself get pinned down. And from there, it becomes one of the most even matchups in the game, you know? Lower level foxes think that Falco just wrecks them because they can't handle the lasers. But at this level, it just becomes, like, in my opinion, the best matchup of the game. A lot of players believe the same thing too, but Zach clutches it out last lock. So I guess Zach is uh, starting to pick things up a bit. Yeah, now they're both looking serious. Yeah. I guess they've played a lot before. Yeah, these, oh! these two are really close friends, so they play a lot. I believe they're also practice partners. Okay. So they're like, uh, as I was opening up in the beginning of the set, these two are very aware of each other's play styles, and I believe they'll be very aware of each other's habits. Okay, that's very cool. That makes this set even better to watch. Let's see what kind of reads they get on each other. What, uh, what was a guess and what was from knowing the other player? This is right now a zero to... Oh, I was going to say a zero to... Zero to love. <laughs> I was going to say a zero to death. Commentator's curse, I guess. Yeah, but we're still... Uh, yeah. Buffered uh, side B or whatever. I think it was just matching, really. Yeah. It's got, that's kind of what I mean. It's like, that's what you're going to do in that position. And you get shot with one of those damn lasers. I really did. Keaton says hi. Yo, what's up, Mortfeld? Mortfeld is dank. <laughs> I, think, I don't know if you heard that, but Mortfeld is dank. Quote, just uh, Mortfeld. quote from Jake. You're dank. <laughs> oh, that was a great up B kill. Shine up B kill from uh, Zach. And the classic. And we got Zach at 42%. Of course he could die at any time. Two but, stocks uh, up, though. He's been winning the neutral. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. God. Oh, jeez. This dash attack is too good. I play the character, and sometimes I still tell myself when I get something, like, that was dumb. Like, Fox is too good. Oh, with a sneaky wave dash back onto the ledge. Just some smart play from both of these players. But, you know. Oh, that forward air to down air. That I'm pretty sure that, really that forward air seemed like a mistake. Uh, that, that seemed like he wanted to go for more hits, but. Mm -hmm. TP Fox got out of it. Whether whether it was or not, he still almost converted it into a very smooth kill. So, and that that boy was definitely not. I went straight fucking down. Yeah, that got a stock. That's a that's the classic in this matchup when you have um, just an overcommittal from one of the players and the other shields back airs. Back airs are so important in this matchup. It's ridiculous. It it leads um a beginner to believe that they should just spam it. But it's a really good move, but you know, you overusing it, a good move. Ooh, great shine! What a shine! Great timing on that too. What a shine! Oh, that's awesome. A lesser player would have gotten hit by the fire, but actually, uh, Falco has no hitbox on his fire. That's no, no, no. I meant, things. I meant the uh, with the the forward fire. Oh, did he have time? To yeah, he he went forward, but he got hit out of it. Okay, yeah. It, it's but, possible it shines like uh, them out of the fire, the, like, the, the forward fire, but it, it it's, it's really timing it, intensive. It is, um, it is actually, either way, much harder <laughs> against Fox. That's one of the things that just makes Fox a better character than Falco. Great edge guard from TV Fox, oh, the, sorry, Zach, ed edges out the, the stock again. Yep, so we got 2 1. Is TV Fox going to take yet another game, possibly set, or is Zach going to finish it up right? The next counter pick to Battlefield. I guess he doesn't want to go back to Yoshi's for some some reason. I thought it was really close, but I guess he has it's, other reasons for it. Yoshi's is um is there's a debate in this matchup where people used to say that Fox, I mean that Falco is actually better, but it's it's more debated. Um, when I started playing the game, I heard that Falco was just hands down better. But on Yoshi's? Yeah, but I don't feel like that's the case necessarily. I don't. Um, I 
think the only one that's really polarized is MD, but it depends on their styles. It can go either way. It depends on the styles and it depends on how the uh, how they the, how they play, really. Yes. Which yes, well, they, they play in an interaction with the same. Yes. Okay, dash attack might not have been the best option. Full hop Especially because he saw that uh, Zach was Ooh, and he had held that legend. Man, some tragic stuff all over right now. I know, I know it's just a missed tech from both of these players, just from these like his last few interactions. Yeah, but that that was a he was probably expecting more from that up throw, so that's why he missed the tech there. But otherwise, I would agree that both of these guys missing their techs and the opponent is not really. Uh, ooh, great! Please. That was a good one. Say the opponent's not really punishing, but that was a very smooth punch. Yes, uh, awesome. Okami lost to PTK, so Okami's in losers, losers quarters, I believe. Okami got a uh, young 30. Oh, uh, missed, missed Waveland. Yeah. That's a weak play. I love it when like I can just like up air the Mars over and over again, but like when they've got smooth movement. Oh! He, oh he called God. the four, he called the up beat of the stage. Yeah, and I feel like he could have reacted to be like, "Wow, this guy is charging the most greedy forward smash of the century. I'm going to change my direction." But you know. It's, it's, nerves are at stake. It's, well, not just the nerves, but it's like going back to the how, they, how these two players play each other so much. I suppose you're right. Hey, is everyone in the chat from San Diego? I'm actually from uh, State College, Pennsylvania. Up tilt? Okay, so TP Fox trying to close out the stock. Keep sending Zach off stage, but can he oh. close it out? Yo, we got that uh, PC drop. That was pretty smooth. Didn't do anything. I'm calling it out. We're playing a back and forth game. Oh! Guess the lane. falls off. That was so tight. That was so high. 99% of us, yes. Actually, we met a guy from Texas today. We met a guy from Oregon. Ooh! Maybe make that 90%.